Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a VHS horizontal glitch effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.5. Inside your edit window, hold in control and press I to insert the media file that you wish to use in this project. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool master bin, find the thumbnail of the media file that you have inserted. Go to left click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail when you hover your mouse cursor over this. To reveal the clip attributes. My chosen video for this project lasts for 24 seconds and 17 frames. The width of the video is 848 pixels with a height of 480. Each second of my video comprises of 30 frames. The duration and frame rate properties will help us determine where on the timeline to implement our glitch effect. Go to select your thumbnail and drag your video down to your timeline. In this particular project, I wish for this glitch to last for 5 seconds. Ensure that your red playhead is positioned at the start of your timeline at 0 seconds. Select your media edit. Go to inspector. Scroll down your video properties to find cropping. Double click on this to reveal crop and softness variables. We will use these variables to create our horizontal bar which will make up our final glitch. Set crop bottom to its highest value of 1080. To have the glitch effect shift down the screen, the crop bottom value needs to decrease as the video plays. Since the value of this variable will be changing, what we need to do is set a keyframe here. Do this by left clicking once in the diamond icon which appears next to the value. Hold in K and press L to move your red playhead forward to the point on your timeline where you want your horizontal bar to reach the bottom of your screen. In this case here in my project, it will be at the 5 second mark. Holding in K and pressing J on the other hand will move the red playhead back to an earlier stage of your edit on your timeline. With the red playhead in place, go to change crop bottom to zero. Note how a keyframe setting is automatically applied when we change the value of this variable. Now hold in K and press J to move your red playhead back to the start of your media edit. Now we will identify the height that we wish for our horizontal bar glitch to be. As the video plays, the crop bottom value will decrease, which will reveal the original video. I only wish for a small amount of the video to be revealed, which will make up my horizontal bar. To move to the point on the timeline where I can establish the height of my final horizontal bar, I can hold in K and tap L until crop bottom is roughly 1040. which is the case after 5 frames. In order for the size of this bar to be now maintained as the video plays, the value for the crop top variable should modify simultaneously to that for crop bottom. We want for the crop top value to start modifying 5 frames into our video. Left click on the keyframe icon for this variable. Now hold in K and press L to move your red playhead forward to the point on your video edit where crop bottom becomes zero. In this case here, it will be at the five second mark. And since crop bottom went from its highest value to its lowest value in five seconds, the crop top variable should take just as long to go from its lowest value to its highest value. And so in order to move my red playhead forward 5 frames more, so that the crop top variation lasts just as long as that of crop bottom, I will hold in K and tap L 5 times. With your media edit selected, change crop top to 1080, its maximum value. This should create your horizontal glitch bar which should shift from top to bottom. However, if we were to insert the original video file underneath this particular edit on our timeline, 
we will not be able to distinguish the horizontal bar on our timeline as the content in this particular edit is parallel to that of our original video file. Therefore, what we need to do is shift the horizontal bar sideways slightly. Select the media edit file once more. Returning to your inspector, scroll up the video settings to transform. Change position X to 17. A keyframe for position X is not required as this particular value will be applied to the whole video edit. A problem that we have on our video preview now is that a black void has appeared to the left of the horizontal bar which we have created. In order to fill this gap in with content from the original video file, select the edits that you have on your timeline, hold in Ctrl and press C to copy. Using the selection mode tool, select and drag the edits on video track 1 directly above to video track 2. Shift your red playhead back to the start of your video edit. Hold Ctrl and press V to paste. To create a duplicated edit of your horizontal bar with its start and end points parallel with each other. With this newly pasted edit selected, change position X to minus 17. Now to place the original video file below the glitch effect. With your selection mode tool, select the edit containing the horizontal bar on video track 2 and drag this directly above to video track 3. Go to select the edit containing the video content used to fill in the void to the side of your horizontal bar on video track 1. Drag this directly above to video track 2. Return to your media pool master bin. Select your original video file and drag this to video track 1, ensuring that the start and end points of all three of your video edits are parallel with each other. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.